Hey, I'm Srini. I'm the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM. I'd like to welcome you back to part three of this five-part video series on relationship marketing. As you're probably noticing if you watched the previous two videos, I'm not wearing a t-shirt today because it's come to my attention that the microphone was actually making my shirt sag. So Dan, I put on a collared shirt just for you, my friend. And Benny Sue, I'm not wearing a t-shirt today, so today you get to see my cowboy shirt. Now let's actually get on to something useful. Today I want to talk about something that is really, really powerful. The last few days we've talked about how to actually start building relationships and how to reach out to people. But what I want to talk about today is how to become a powerful connector of people and how to become the hub and connect the members of your tribe together. So I want to give you three different ways that you can do this. And if you do them on a regular basis, they'll be amazed, amazingly powerful for you. The very first of which is to use lists on Twitter. A lot of people get caught up in the number of followers when they first get on Twitter. And the number is important, but the quality is just as important too. And one of the best ways to ensure that the following that you have is really high quality is to organize the people in your network into a list and communicate with them on a regular basis. In fact, I wrote a really in-depth post about this for twittip.com titled 150 followers is all you really need. In fact, I'll link it below in the show notes. Definitely check it out. I know it sounds crazy, but it's been incredibly powerful in helping me to grow my network. The second idea that I want to share with you is to write a book or release an ebook that's a joint creation between you and the people in your network. One of the listeners of our show, April Bolzolin from Blacksburg Bell, did this. She actually wrote a blog series as a group with a group of other bloggers in her niche. And then they actually turned that into an ebook. And what's amazing is each person can give away that book to their readers, they can share it with the people in their network, they can post it on their blog. And it's been created by all these people. So all of a sudden, you've got this piece of content that everybody has created together and that's spreading to your respective networks. And you become the hub for that piece of content. Finally, I want to share one other idea with you that I think is absolutely phenomenal. And that is list posts. You've probably seen these posts where people highlight bloggers, 50 bloggers to watch, you know, 50 bloggers who are up to this. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make with these posts is that they highlight people who are really famous or people who are really big. If you remember what we talked about in the previous videos, these strategies are going to be a thousand times more effective if you apply them to early stage bloggers or up and coming bloggers. So what I want to encourage you to do is take that list of 15 or 20 people that you've built relationships with and highlight them in your content. You could do 15 amazing people to watch. Uh, I will actually link a couple of posts. I have one written by my friend Dave Ursillo called 21 People Who Will Change the World in 2012, which he wrote as a guest post on the School of Life. And my friend Benny Shu at his Get Busy Living blog actually wrote a really great post where he highlighted about 40 people who are up and coming bloggers early last summer. And it turned out to be a really, really popular post. And I'll make sure I link that in the show notes as well. So this has been part three of this five part series on relationship marketing. If you're looking for a more in-depth explanation of all these ideas, I go into them in detail in my book, Relationship Marketing for Bloggers, which I've linked below. And tune in tomorrow for part four of this five part video series. I'm Srinivas Rao. I'm the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM. And I thank you for tuning in today. Thanks a lot.